Welcome. Okay, so I'm like, um, this is Ramadan craft week one, and we're gonna actually be making some uh, lanterns like this and this um, in your pack. So these are the fun little lanterns. I'll, I'm gonna do um, give you a tutorial on how to make the basic lantern, which is this blue one, and then you have the option at a later date to actually make one with more detail. I'll show you how to make them. Um, so the crafts that you're gonna need, you're gonna need some cardstock. I'm going to need um, three, you should have three templates. If you can see, I'll put them on the table and you can have a look. So you're going to have an easy template. An easy one, which is this one, and then a slightly difficult one, which is the middle one here. And then the more advanced one, which has more curves and kind of like curved edges. And now these are only half a lantern, but I'll show you how to make a whole lantern to actually make um, a nice lantern. So we're gonna start off with this shape, the easy one. You're also gonna need scissors and some glue and some yarn. And obviously we need a pen to actually draw around. So with your cardstock, um, we're gonna grab one sheet, put this to the side. And we're gonna fold the sheet in half, as you can see. And we're gonna give it a good score. We wanna fold it right down the middle. And just to give it a nice crisp line, we're just gonna score the edge so it's nice and sharp. Now, with our uh, Easy Lantern, it should come on a sheet like this. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our scissors and we're just gonna cut around it. I've already gone ahead and I've cut around the uh, shape. So you basically, you're just gonna cut around here. Now you do have the option for the star. So if you want, you can go ahead and cut that out as well. But I'm gonna leave that out for now just to keep the craft simple. So once we've folded the sheet in half, you're gonna take your template. We're gonna place it on the crease over here and then take your pen or your pencil and we're just gonna simply draw around this. Like this. And once that's drawn, I'm going to put that to the side. We're going to grab our scissors and we're going to actually cut. You don't want to cut along the crease, we're just going to cut the shape out. So in total, we're going to make about, um, I think we're going to cut out six lanterns. And um, this is the easy one. So we should go quite quickly with this one. But for the older kids, definitely recommend you doing a slightly harder lantern. And you can always make your own design up. And that's the fun part of it. Okay, so when you undo it, when you unfold it, you should have a shape of a lantern like this. Okay, we're going to cut uh, five more of these. And we're going to do the same process. So with our first sheet of paper we used, you should have a middle section cut out with the lantern. As you can see, we cut that one out. We're gonna repeat that step, but this time we're gonna fold it on one side to the point where we cut out. So we're gonna fold it again, and we're gonna take the edge of the scissors just to get a nice score line. We're gonna repeat that process. Again, take our shape put it on the crease line and then grab our pen or our pencil. And then we're going to draw around the shape. And we're gonna repeat the process of cutting the second lantern out. Right. Now with this, I'm using, I'm going to be using two colors. So it should get a nice colorful lantern. You can use as many colors as you like, or if you want, if you prefer, you can just stick to one color. Okay, so I'm gonna unfold that. See, I have two lanterns cut out. And then I'm gonna get a third one over there. So let's put this aside and let's repeat again. So here, we're going to, again, take the edge of the paper and we'll fold it up to the point where we cut out the lantern, give it a good crease, you know, apply some pressure to the score line. And again, we're going to repeat the process. And we're going to draw around the lantern again. All right, we're going to cut this out. Now, I know there's so many different types of lanterns out there. I thought I would teach you how to do a slightly different method. 
uh, traditional ones is where they use those, um, you know, one sheet and you cut the slits and, and you put a light inside or something like that. A lot of people make those lanterns. Okay, so now we have three cutouts. We're going to do three more. So I'm going to take my second sheet. We're going to just put this to the side like that. So the second sheet, again, we're going to fold the sheet in half. Right down the center, going to give it a good, apply some pressure to get a good crease. And again, we're going to repeat the process. Now draw around. And again, if you if you are cutting this out, you can draw around the star as well and then cut that out as you go along. And then when you've made all the lanterns, they look so nice when you have like two, three, even more, loads of them hung together. You can hang them around your banisters. You can put them around your fireplace and hang them there. They look so pretty. All right, that's lantern number four. So we have two more to make. Again, we're going to fold the card, the paper, along one side. We're going to give it a apply some pressure and get a good crease line. Take our shape, place it on the paper, and we're just going to draw around this. There we go, nearly done. So this is number five. We have one more to do. And of course, you don't have to use plain cardstock. You can use different types of paper. You can even draw on your cardstock, make a pattern. You can put stickers on there, such as stars and moons, or you can write Ema Barrett, whatever you like. Okay. So that's, that's two from the second sheet. So we've cut five now. This is our last one. And we're going to, again, fold over the paper, give it a good crease, apply some pressure and take our shape. And we're almost done. There we go. Now, if you have little kids, definitely keep to a simple shape maybe a box or a circle, something that's easy for them to cut. Um, you know, and I'm sure mum or dad or an older sibling can help out as well. Uh, nearly done. Okay, so after this process, we are going to start gluing them together and then we're going to make a tassel. All right, so we should have, uh, you're done? Okay, so we should have a total of six. Over here, we have three, three green and three blue. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna glue them together now. All right, so let's take our glue stick. So you want to make sure they're all facing the right direction, the same um, pattern. And let's alternate our colors so we can get an idea of how they're going to look. I'm going to alternate mine with blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. And it's going to look like that. So to glue them together, we're going to fold it in half. I'm going to grab a glue stick. We're just going to put some glue on one end. Right to the go, go right to the edge. And this is the tricky part. You have to make sure you line up your patterns to the shape you cut. If, um, the trick part is to line it up before the glue dries. Okay, and you want to make sure that everything's all lined up, the edges are lined up as well. Okay, so I have two glue together. Now, well, it's like it's almost like a book now. So we're going to fold that over. So we're going to keep the leaves on the inside, and then we're going to put some glue on this one on the next, on, on the second lantern we just stuck on. Put loads of glue on. Go right to the edge. I'm going to take my green shape. Again, I'm going to line it up. And there we go. So I'm going to line it up. So now we've stuck three together. So we have one, two, three. And now I'm going to alternate the color. And again, I'm going to close it up. And then I'm going to put glue all along here. And take my next color. 
line that up as such and press it down so it sticks nicely. And can you see we're almost forming a lantern with different colors. So our next color is green. And now we're almost done. We're just going to make a tassel after this. Let's put glue all the way to the edge. All right. There we go. And last one. This is number six. So again, we're going to glue right to the edge. There we go. All right, so once that's done, should look like a little book shaped like a lantern. Can you see? You've got your different leaves inside. All right, so here's a, we're gonna do something a little bit, we're gonna actually make a tassel now. So when, when it's all finished, it should look like something like this. When you glue it all together, but we're gonna have a little tassel as well. So I'm gonna show you how to make a tassel. So let's put this down. We don't want to. We don't want to glue this. We don't want to glue this together yet. We still have uh, opening just for to um, place our tassel in. Okay. So let's grab our yarn. Okay. This is a little bit tricky, but I'm sure you can do it. We want to grab the end, and we are going to wrap around the hand about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Or you can do more. Uh, nine, ten. Let's do ten. So you want to wrap it around your hand. So if you've got little hands, you can ask mum to help you. So you want to wrap it around and then you just want to cut the end of the string like that at the bottom. Oh, my scissors is not very good. Issa, can you pass me the other scissors, please? Make sure your scissors are nice and sharp. <laughs> so once you've you've drawn, um, you've actually wrapped around your fingers a few times. You want you should have a big loop like this. Now take your loop and just grab it from the bottom and snip. So now you should have lots of pieces of string, roughly the same size as you can see. Yeah. And then what with this, we're going to make our tassels. So I'm going to put this on the table and I'll show you how to make the tassels. Okay. So let's grab our other piece of string that was uh, that we cut the tassels from. And we're just going to lay it on the open side. We're going to lay it open. OK, we're going to just lay the string over and we're going to take out 10 strips of uh, string and we're going to put the string right in the middle. So we're going to put the uh, one string over there underneath and we're going to lay all the 10 strips on top. Once we've done that, we're just going to take and tie a knot in the middle as such. Okay, now make sure we're gonna, we need to leave a nice good length of string. Um, let's say about a foot, maybe 12 inches, just a good strip long enough. And we're just gonna cut that off. And that's gonna be our string to hold, um, to hold the, uh, the, the fruit lantern. So when you finish, you should have your 10 strips um, tied together with a very, very long piece of string, as you can see over here. I've got mine quite long, about almost over a foot. Okay, next stage, and then cut that string off. So next stage, you would just wanna fold, fold it all over together, and then just get another piece of string from your main um, yarn and just simply, we're going to actually just wrap it around. I'm just going to take the end of the um, string. And we're just going to tie, just wrap it around to make a nice looking, nice looking um, tassel. So mum might have to help you here or your elder sibling or your dad. And once you've wrapped it around, as you can see, I'm just going to take the open end and we're just going to tie a knot. So I'm going to cut this end off. And then we're just going to tie this so that it doesn't unravel. All right, there we go. So I've tied it over there. Now obviously you can make this 
you can wrap it around a lot more and you can put more strings on there. The more um, strings you have hanging, the nicer your tassel looks. So I'm going to make this even neater by cutting the edge, nice crisp clean edge. I'm going to cut that and then with the ends that I tie, I'm just going to trim them off. And there we go. That's how you make a simple tassel. So with your tassel should have that long string at the end. Now with that, we're going to grab our lantern. And you know the large that has our lantern. And here is the string we have. Um, where the aim is to put the lantern, to put the tassel on the inside to glue it, or you can tape it. And then we're going to fold it shut and, and you won't see the string going through. So it look like that. And then you have the extra bit of string on top to hang around your banisters on your mantle. So let's just go ahead and glue that in. I'm actually going to use tape because I don't have any runny glue. The best one is to use um, runny uh, liquid glue. Okay, here's my end. So you want to find the space where you only have a single sheet and it hasn't been glued together. Okay, so take your tassel. Just place it on the inside like that. And then grab your tape. I'm going to use some masking tape. And just tape it on the inside like that. And, such. and then last part. You can use liquid glue, that works as well. Just glue the whole thing together. So simple. And then you wanna close that shut and you don't see any of the strings. Doesn't that look nice? So then open it up and there we go. And that's your lantern, easy peasy. Now, obviously you can, you can make different colors you can make more you can add in more um lantern shapes this is made with six and here is one i made earlier and this was made with i think eight or ten so you can make loads and you can alternate the colors and if you're adventurous enough and you've got the skills you can make the lantern with the stars cut out in the middle. Now this is a difficult, this is a harder lantern with all the curves. So it takes a lot more time to make this and to cut out the stars. So it, it, the basic one is the quickest. And then this is also made with, I believe five of them. So you can, again, you can alternate the colors. You can have so much fun. And then when you hang them, they look so pretty. You can put them on your mantle, across your stairs, on your banisters, wherever you want. You can you know, hang them across the door. And if you make loads of these, they will look really festive and really pretty during Ramadan. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the craft and I look forward to seeing more of your creations.